for the sign of Capricorn. Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on. So the tower is basically about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster because it's important to roll with the changes. It's likely that some people, situations that you counted on as being there for you, they may no longer be there for you in quite the same way coming up in July. Now, this doesn't have to be drastic because we know that change, it's the nature of life. So if we try to prevent it, it could be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some come crashing down to earth. And that's only a problem if you let it be because you can replace them with some more realistic and reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies do fall apart in the month of July. Yeah, just keep in mind that dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality. Now, this tower is paired with the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands, it's showing that you could be attending a special event, one which will be way more fun than you're anticipating. And the Four of Wands is about make sure you go because you'll have a great time and business is likely to be going well if you have a business. And you'll be proud of yourself, and others will be proud of you too. Although this is a very positive card in the tarot, it shows that there's a need to keep your wits about yourself. And although, although you deserve some rest and some fun, just know that you're probably still in a building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This card can also mean that um, some of you Capricorns, you may be changing or moving your place of residence. So basically, with these two cards paired together coming up for July, Tower and Four of Wands, there's some some, something that comes crashing down. <laughs> that's what the Tower it, it's about and that's what it looks like in the card. Something falls apart, but it awakens you. You're enlightened by whatever falls apart. Enlightened by whatever disaster this could be. Um, but then we got this beautiful Four of Wands, which is about marriage, long-term commitment. So someone could be wanting to commit to you or you to them. Yeah, that's exciting. Could be someone new coming towards you or someone that you already know. But we'll have to clarify these two cards more by taking a look at the rest of the reading. So let's take a look at how your person sees you. We'll take a look at that for now and then we'll come back to those two. Once we see what the rest of the reading is saying. So if you're dealing with someone, they see you like the world card and the knight of wands. The world card, it's beautiful. It's about closure. Yeah, we all need closure. Every now and then we need to close a chapter or a cycle. I love the world card. When you get this card, you've probably um, are working hard or you worked hard. Just know that you're almost to the finish line in some way. So don't quit now because you're really close. You're almost in need of some well-deserved rest and relaxation don't be afraid to take it because you're getting closer and closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels so in terms of work it's a good chance that you're working far too hard for far too little recognition and money so it's important if this is the case to blow your own horn a little just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments So your person sees you as ending a journey, you're ending a journey or closing a chapter out in your life, or they could be seeing that that's what you need to do. They could be thinking, yeah, you need to just put a stop to that chapter. They could be seeing that. Now, it's interesting because it's with this um, Knight of Wands, and Knight of Wands is an interesting card. It has a different, a couple of different storylines. It's showing it's a great time for travel. 
You see this man, he's on this big bird and he's in the sky. And he's traveling. <laughs> That's what he's doing. I don't think anybody gets on a big bird like that though. Not these days. Maybe in the prehistoric dinosaur days they did that. <laughs> I don't know if they got far though. But it's a showing. It's a great time for travel if you can get away. But um, yeah, you'll be feeling charged up, full of energy. And ready to get a whole lot of things done. Your confidence is increasing and this should help reach towards any goals that you have. The Knights, just keep in mind, they're about messages. So it looks like uh, they see you wanting to reach out. You got something to say. You want to talk. You could be texting this person. You could be calling them up. The messages, they're positive, could be related to work, career, family, love, romance. So, if you have any projects and you get the Knight of Wands, they're better than you, and more, they're better and more successful than you would have predicted or expected. So, you're going to have a lot of reasons to feel pride. This Knight of Wands, they see you as fearless, brave, very confident. Now, like I said, the Knight of Wands has a couple of different storylines. It's also known as a player, really charm, charmer, charming type player. They're charming. They have an in and out type of energy. So, basically, like I said, they see you like the world card and the Knight of Wands. So maybe you're long distance, that could be it. You're in one week and then you're out the next, okay? Or maybe they think you, you're you a player. They could think you're playing them or you're a player. And you got this in and out type of energy. So they could think that you need to end that cycle of this in and out type of energy, whether it's you long distance, maybe they want you closer to them, so they want you to close that chapter. Yeah, come closer so that uh, you could stop the in and out energy, whether you're a player or you're just long distance. They want you to close that chapter. Yeah, start a new chapter with them, maybe. So, let's take a look at how you see them. Now you see them like this page of wands and it's paired with a death card. The page of wands, uh, these people are warm, ambitious, high achievers. If it's not an actual person, the page of wands it indicates the energy of easy distraction. So you have to try to stay focused this card indicates that things you started some time ago, they could start to come to fruition. So it cause, well, it can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideals. The page brings a positive energy, but you have to supply the follow through. You have to do that. And it could be difficult because the page in the tarot, when you hear that word page, that's youth, a student, immaturity. Could be someone younger than you. And they have um, the energy of easy distraction. They get distracted easy. So you have to focus on trying to stay focused. <laughs> so you see your person as having a lot of passion for you. That's what the Page of Wands is also. They're excited to come towards you. They um, want to reach out. They'll be messaging you. They'll be contacting you if they haven't already. Yeah, they got a lot of passion for you. That's how you see them. And you also see them like the Death card, though, which is about um, some type of deep... They're going through some type of deep change. Transformation. Now keep in mind, the death card does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're creatures with free will and such things. They are not written in stone. This card simply 
indicates transformation and change. It could be internally and externally in your life. Maybe some things, situations, people that you've counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Now this transition, it can be difficult for some people, but the change is nearly always needed. So like I said, you see your person exciting to, excited to reach out to you. They want to come towards you, but they're going through some difficulties. Yeah, some type of change in inwardly or externally. Maybe they've reached some conclusion and it's bringing finality. Maybe they're letting go of an old or outdated attitude. So you see them changing in a deep way. But they want to come towards you. Their person has a lot of passion for you. Now let's take a look at why it's happening. We got this Queen of Wands and it's with the Ten of Cups. Queen of Wands. Yeah, I like the Queen of Wands. She knows her worth. Queen of Wands. It's about a woman with a lot of fire energy. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If it's not referring to an actual person, it stands for getting a whole lot accomplished. And the focus could be work or career. It could be. Or it could be family, romance. The queen is a positive, uplifting energy. When it does stand for an actual person in your life, she's a really good friend. 100% on your side. Even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. And if you're trying to conceive and you get this card in a reading, it's one of the most positive signs there can be. So be careful if you're not trying to conceive. So one of the reasons why it's happening, the Queen of Wands, someone is very, very determined about you, Capricorn, or this could be you about your person. They might come across as egotistical. Yep, you know your worth, you're very confident. You're used to getting what you want. Now, the other reason why it's happening is the Ten of Cups, which is one of the most uplifting cards in the tarot. This card, it points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. It, yeah, it's a really great card in the tarot. It speaks of happy family life. Even if you're single, to the overall well-being that goes beyond you, to include those that you're most concerned about, your parents, siblings, siblings, children, and your pets, and much more. Also, you could be spiritually fulfilled at this time. Great card to get in the reading. This card is known as the dream come true. Dream come true, yeah. Now, this is, this is just, it's not short of any cups. And when you get the nine of cups, it's short of one cup. So it's a nine of cups is a wish come true. Ten of cups is the tops. So this is the other reason why it's happening. But we should recap this reading. We'll recap it now so that we can get the complete picture. So basically, Capricorn, like I said, there looks like it's some tower moment that might be coming up for some of you Capricorns in July. Something comes crashing down. Boom. But you're enlightened. You're enlightened. You're awakened by whatever fell apart. Yeah, it wakes you up. And um, your person, they see you as being in and out. Like I said, I don't know if you're, you two are long distance, but it looks like they see you wanting to close out that cycle and maybe become closer to them. Maybe move, reload closer, re relocate closer to them so that you could close out that uh, cycle of commuting back and forth, back and forth. Like I said, the Knight of Wands is an in and out energy. They could also see you as a player and needing to close out that chapter. So, like I said, um, your person is also going through some type of change. Change in where they are inwardly, could be internal or external, some type of deep transformation, but they want to reach out to you. 
Yeah, it looks like you want to reach out to them too with the Knight of Wands here. So you both will be communicating and talking. And your person got a lot of passion for you, so I'm sure they really want to connect with you. Now it looks like um, because we've got this Queen of Wands here, your person is very determined about you. They would really like for you to end this, end that cycle. You're in some type of cycle that they'd be really happy if you close it out. And I'm picking up it's probably long distance. Yeah, they want you closer. Because they see you as someone that they could um, have a family with, with the Ten of Cups here. Yeah, they could be wanting you as the end-all, be-all. They could see you as the Ten of Cups. Yeah, there's no need to look further. And then with the Four of Wands here, uh, it looks like you might, you might have a lot of emotions for this person with the Four of Wands. And that could be why you're thinking about closing out a cycle, ending a journey of... Maybe some type of in and out energy and decide to become more stable with this person. Because like I said, it looks like something falls apart and it looks like it could wake the both of you up. And that's what causes this change with your person and an ending of a journey with, with yourself. Yeah, the tower moment looks like it wakes both of you up. So they're wanting you to be more close, close out any cycles that are causing problems for this connection. And looks like, like I said, they're going through something too. Some type of deep change and this person really likes you. They're very determined about you. Yeah, they see you as the end all, be all. But like I said, coming up in July, something, when it, if it falls apart in the month of July, just realize it's it's probably to bring you two closer together. So it's only going to be a problem, this tower moment, if you let it be. 